So now let's move on to example 3. Now in example 3, given the symmetric equations of line 1, which are x minus 1 over 2 equals y minus 2 over negative 1 equals z minus 3 over 1, A, find line 2, which passes through Q and then parallel to line 1, and then B, find line 3, which passes through Q and then perpendicular to line 1. So let's try to solve this together. So for A, we are going to find the line L2, which passes through Q and then is parallel to L1. Now here, we have the point where the line, which is line 2, is passing through. However, we don't have the direction vector. So we need to find the direction vector of L1. Now, we have the symmetric equations for L1, so we can derive the direction vector. So we know that the symmetric equations is given by, we have x minus x naught over A equals y minus y naught over B equals z minus z naught over C. Now from this, we have the direction vector to have components A, B, C. So from this, we can relate that a corresponds to 2, B corresponds to negative 1, and then C corresponds to 1. So this is the direction vector obtained, obtained or derived from line 1. The direction vector obtained from line 1. So that is going to help us to find line 2. So for line 2, this time we have the point the line is passing through and then we have the direction vector which is parallel to L1 so we can find the vector equation so that is given by R equals R naught plus T times times V T times V so because we are finding for line 2 so let's make this R2 that is equal to so for R naught, we are going to have the components 1, 3, negative 2. So 1, 3, negative 2. That is where the line passes through. And then plus T, the vector which is parallel to L1, the direction vector obtained here, which is 2, negative 1, 1. So basically this is, I mean, the vector equation of line 2. So we are done for A. Now let's move on to B. So for B, we are going to find the line L3, which passes through Q, and this time perpendicular to L1. Now, we don't have the direction vector, which is perpendicular to L1. So what we need to do is to find it. Now, first of all, let's define the direction vector, let's say M. So we say, let M be the direction vector the direction vector perpendicular perpendicular to the direction vector obtained from L1 which is 2 negative 1 1 so actually what this primarily means is that we have the line L3 that passes through Q, okay? But we don't have the direction vector, which is perpendicular to L1. So we are going to define a direction vector, which is perpendicular to the direction vector of L1, okay? And from this, we can move on to find the direction vector, which is perpendicular to L1. So basically, that's what we are going to do. Now, this M which is the direction vector we have declared has components a b c so we are just going to find the values of a b and c now from the dot products we know that the dot product of two vectors which are perpendicular is equal to zero so the dot product of two perpendicular vectors is equal to zero so that is m dot 2 negative 1 
1 is equal to 0 and notice that dot product is commutative so this can come first before m or m can come first before this now we have m having components a b c dot 2 negative 1 1 equals 0 so for dot product you basically multiply corresponding components and then we add them up so we have a times 2 which is 2a plus b times negative 1 which is negative b so minus b plus c times 1 which is c so we have the sum of all these three terms equals 0 now we have one equation we have three unknowns so what do we do we are basically going to choose arbitrary values for b and c so that we can find the value of a and notice that whatever you get here which are the values of a b c can be different from any other person who chooses a different value from what you choose so we say that let b be equal to zero and then probably let c equals now if b equals zero then you are left with 2a plus c okay so basically you can make c equals to 4 okay you can make c equals to 4 now again you can choose any value for c you can choose any value for b okay so if b is equal to 0 and then c is equal to 4 then you have something like 2a plus 0 plus 4 equals 0 so this reduces to 2a equals we transpose 4 to the right hand side we have negative 4 you divide through by 2 by 2 and then you have a to be equal to negative 2 therefore you have the direction vector m having components a which is negative 2 b which is 0 and then c which is 4 so this time you have the direction vector perpendicular to l1 now what we are left to do is to find the line l3 so for the line l3 we have r3 to be equal to the line passes through q so we have 1 3 negative 2 plus t negative 2 0 4 so this is the equation or the vector equation of the line l3 so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye